my name's Elizabeth Ma. I live in Byron Bay and now I work at Ferris Care here in the residential village. I've been a carer here at Ferris for about 18 months. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We start at 6.15, we get a handover from the night staff. The door alarm for 39 Good and 38 bus this morning at 5.30. Oh, really is. We just okay. bed was, uh, mm -hmm. and the early meds and that's That's fine. all. Great. So everyone had a good night. Yeah. Thank you. I hope. Facility here in Byron Bay at Ferris. We have four cottages. We have 40 residents, 10 in each block. And on a day shift, on a morning, we have one carer to each facility. Good morning, Anne. Good morning. You're up already? Yes, up already. I wake up and Did you have a good night? No, not too bad at all. Ah, oh, so that's I good. well last night, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> also, with, with um, our residents, we've always got a, um, a care plan that we look at all in their charts, so any time of the day we can look at our care plans and we can see what they need to do for their diet, their mobility, their personal care, their medications, their social. It's all on their care plan, so it's a quick glance. Okay, I'm just going to put it in your right eye. Blink, that's it. In your left eye. And then at 9.30 we have a handover with our care manager washed this morning. I put a cream on. Her skin is very angry, very, very angry at the moment. And we go through each resident if there's any concerns, anything new happening with them and what's happened to them in the last 24 hours. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. We've got a Schedule 8 drug for a resident and it's an S8 drug which is locked up and there has to be two people um, sign, countersign, check and administer the drug. Okay. Right, now, off we go. Oh, there's several qualities that would make a good carer. First of all, your knowledge. That's nice. Secondly, common sense. Third, thirdly, I think you have to have a genuine, good, caring nature to assist people. Now Maggie has an ulcer on her leg and we dress it daily. It's rewarding because you, you get thanked so many times just for the simplest little gesture that you, you do for somebody. They just thank you. Looks good, Maggie. Physically, it can be tiring because you're in a facility and you're walking from one cottage to the other. Okay. Some cottages have more washing than others and it's done virtually every day. We did have a pedometer on it at one stage and you walk over 10,000 steps in a day, well over. The whole day you're processing thoughts of, you're observing, you see somebody sitting there quietly where you know they a bit loud and boisterous and what's happening there or you know someone's not eating or drinking as much or someone who doesn't want to get out of bed or someone is not smiling and laughing as much or someone who is happy. So to, you're always observing everything all through the day. Your routine is there, but your observation is the utmost. There are so different personalities, such a range, and you have fun. Little things that you might think are serious, and they're not and they turn around and laugh at something. Oh, you were just pulling my leg, or you were just joking, or... Oh, that's good, I thought that's I That's probably where you got mixed up. Yeah. The podiatrist, not the psychiatrist. <laughs> I thought I was going potty. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's your toes they're coming to see. Okay, your right. toes, not your head. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> if you've got a smile on your face, you radiate a smile and it's infectious. Then at 1.15, there's a quiz with Phoebe. The volunteer Phoebe, and it's going to be in this cottage here. So you don't have to move very far today. So because we're not moving very far, maybe we should be all going to exercises. <laughs> I'm passionate about aged care. 
Um, I didn't think I was ready for aged care 18 months ago, but as soon as I walked into the facility and started working, being orientated to the facility, orientated to the plans of aged care, and just seeing the residents happy here, you can see how reserved they are when they first come, and then over weeks and weeks and weeks they feel doing they've become part of this community. What I would say to someone who wants to be a carer, especially aged care, coming with an open mind, open eyes, because it's such a rewarding experience. But I didn't realise it was so much fun. I didn't realise there was so much to give to people and for them to give back to you. OK, we'll see you out at breakfast then, Doreen. There's 40 residents and you know it touched somebody in that day and that's and one of those other people have touched you emotionally as well. I just love it. I just love working here. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs>